Welcome. Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this video is why should you do an insulin test? I keep coming back to this subject because you keep asking me to do so. So, recently a patient asked me this question even though she told me that she had watched several segments on insulin toxicity, insulin conservation, insulin waste, insulin depletion on the subject. She knew that I consider insulin toxicity as the metabolic root cause of all degenerative inflammatory immune problems. So I thought I should do this subject again. Well, you should do an insulin test, a three-hour profile, if you're interested in your health. If you, you should do this test if you are a curious person. You, are, uh, you should do this test if you like to think for yourself. If you are not part of group thinking, you know what group thinking is? When everybody thinks the same. Of course, when everybody thinks the same way, nobody thinks. That unfortunately is the main tragedy in my profession. Doctors are trained to group think. If you are a 15 year old and your menstruation has become irregular, you should do an insulin test. You may well be on your way to polycystic ovary syndrome and you have too much insulin, you are insulin toxic, you don't even know that. If you're a young man, you have low testosterone level, the first test that I would do, even before I do a testosterone, I would do an insulin test. If you're more than 15 pounds in excess of optimal weight, you should do an insulin test. If you want to monitor the efficacy of any treatment for any disease, Let's say you have sarcoidosis, you have rheumatoid arthritis. They're giving you those Humira and blessed embryo injections. You have no chance of healing from rheumatoid arthritis or sarcoidosis or lupus, scleroderma, psoriasis, if you take that approach. Let's say if you had a coronary artery stents and uh, six months later you had three more and then two months later you had two more, oh, for God's sake, please have your insulin test done. Forget about the cholesterol. Even the New York Times told on July 3rd, 2012, its readers that statin drugs do not save any lives for women. That's also true for men. But this article was about women. The New York Times told its readers that coronary artery stents do not save any lives. I have a whole channel on this encyclopedia on these subjects. But let me count the reason. If you're concerned about your memory, you should have an insulin test done. If your ankles are puffy, you should have insulin test done. If you are gaining weight, absolutely, certainly you need an insulin test. If your doctor tells you that your kidney is coming under stress, your creatinine level, C-R-E-A-T-I-N-I-N-E, -I -I -E, is rising, you need an insulin test. In essence, even if you are vaguely interested in the scientific basis of health, the scientific basis of absence of health, the scientific basis of disease, you need an insulin test. Please look at the other segments in this short series. When should you keep your insulin the way it is? When should you lower your insulin levels? When should you raise your insulin levels? You are an intelligent, thoughtful, curious person. That's the definition of a scientist. So why don't you be a scientist? Test yourself. Have the insulin test done. And then watch these programs again and again and see how you can be your own insulin doctor, your own healer, your own guide. The best physician for you is the person in your mirror. Forward this video to your contacts to support our mission of providing authentic information.
free of cost to people all over the world. Thank you.